B.I.G. Oh God. Whoa. Okay. Ain't nobody fucking with my click. 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 What's going on, guys? It's T. Blake. We're outside, ball and buck. We are just. What time does that say? 5.47. We're 13 minutes away from getting our shoes. We got some familiar faces in line today. Just got my stamp, which means I'm guaranteed a pair of the Ball and Buck. He his donuts. Collaboration. Comes in a 50 cal box. Pretty, pretty cool. We can see the line is slowly snaking its way down. 176 pairs. What's up, bro? Julio from Chelsea. Shout out. Shout out. For the love. What's going on, guys? We are inside Ball and Buck. The store is absolutely beautiful. Everyone's here for the release party. We're giving out free drinks. You can see the shoes on display here. It's just a really cool party right now. They're giving out free drinks and everything. I got my size 11 and a half. I'm number 15. Really, really cool. You see some of the ammo boxes here. And uh, Christian, we're going to do the review. So here we're taking a look at the ammo boxes. They're specifically numbered. Number two. Number one went to management. But it's just so cool. They're like real vintage. They got that age on them. Just really, really cool feature. You can see we still got everyone going on. It's just a good time to be a sneakerhead. What's going on, guys? It's T Blake here. I'm here with a very, very exciting release. You guys just saw some footage of the Ball and Buck collaboration with New Balance. I just got home. I'm back at Babson College. I'm happy to be home. After a couple hours waiting in line, I have secured two pairs of the special Ball and Buck New Balance collaboration. Uh, one pair is for myself, size 11 and a half. Um, those of you guys that have ever heard of a, someone called Dubstep Slap 415, I'm sure you have. Uh, I was able to get him a size 13. It was not easy um, based on how limited these shoes were. Um, first thing and foremost is this ammo box. Now, this was something that was really, really cool feature of the shoe. This is a real deal ammo box. And you can see here that my pair is 15 out of 176. It's a nice uh, copper branding here. New Balance, Feet, Ball, and Buck. Uh, the shoes did not come in the ammo box. You can open it up here. And you will see. Excuse me, I have to put the phone down. Box is empty. Uh, unfortunately, with my size, they actually only fit up to size 10. Uh, my size does not fit in here. Nonetheless, this is a dope keepsake to have. Uh, really special, really commemorative of the shoe and the collaboration. Uh, going into a little bit more detail, I also had the opportunity to talk to the New Balance president. Uh, as you guys may or may not know, New Balance is a Boston-based company. So I got to sit down to interview with him. Um, I'm looking to get that onto Soul Collector. So many of you guys might actually get to read my review. Let's take a look at the shoe. <laughs> As you can see, they're already taken out of the box. Uh, they were not factory laced. I laced them. I plan on wearing these very, very soon. Um, so this is a limited edition, uh, if you guys haven't gotten that already, of the New Balance 574. Uh, and it's currently only available in sort. And I think by the time you watch this, it'll be sold out everywhere. Um, they had 176 pairs, which is really cool. Uh, commemorates 1776. Uh, Ball and Buck is an all-American company. They're huge on having everything made in America. New Balance, of course, makes everything in America. We can take a look at the box here. Normal New Balance box, patriotic colors. Got that USA stamp of approval. So let's get into the shoe. Um, so it's inspired by hunting uh, in the great outdoors, which is something that uh, Ball and Buckeyes are really big on, American, Americana, you know. Uh, so what they used was this uh, premium gray suede, uh, New Balance gray, just a very simple tone, right? Uh, and then they have the duck canvas right here, which is what they used for the camo print. Ball and Buck has their own unique uh, camouflage print. Really, really stands out here. Uh, it's just something that's very clean and very subtle. Um, and then they use orange, which is a common color to be matched. So we see the back tab here has a New Balance branding with that bright orange. Uh, if you guys have ever seen someone hunting, you know, they wear that color. So it's, you know, paired with that. And say, see on the insole here is a orange insole with New Balance branding there as well. Uh, we take a look here. We have a lighter gray uh, accents all around the shoe, 
with this nice white lower coming right back to the toe box with that nice camo so you guys can really get a good look in there you know all these shoes were handmade uh, something really really interesting is here we have the tag which talks about it being made uh, in America and one of the really cool things also during the release was that they showed a video of the workers and some of the workers that actually crafted the shoe were there uh, we got that black sole on the bottom all in all this I'm trying to make this review short because I had that extra footage in the beginning crazy review really happy to have this in my collection as someone that is a huge fan of Ball and Buck, someone that really loves Boston, City of Boston, this is a shoe that means a lot to a lot of different people. And to say that I have one of 176 pairs, well, technically two, but you'll see that on Dubstep Slap's channel, um, is just incredible. And I am so thankful to have had the opportunity to pick these up. I am more thankful to have had the opportunity to interview the president of New Balance. And I really hope you guys enjoy this review. Uh, I hope you guys take a look at New Balance. I know Jordan and Nike have kind of been overplayed recently. Uh, prices are going up. Material and quality is kind of sucking the dick. So I really hope you guys can take a look at these and kind of be inspired to maybe go after a pair. There's a lot of cool colorways coming out. Uh, this is T Blake signing off. You guys can find me at Twitter at the real T Blake um, and tweet at me. I'll give some shout outs next time I do. Um, and that's going to end it for this video. I really hope you enjoy. And T-Blake signing off.